Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. So I thought I'd do something slightly different today. I'm going to do a, some sort of a landscape, but I'm thinking of perspective. It's like when you get down on your hands and knees and you get a camera and you, and, you, and you look through your lens, because a lot of us, when we take photographs, we tend to do this or that or that, but we don't get low down onto our subjects. And I thought today I would do something like that. So the horizon line or the line, center line of my painting is going to be there because all this is going to be taken up with possibly water or something. And um, I'm just thinking of changing my point of view, my point of perspective. So, yeah, let's put let's put some sort of maybe a river bank, some trees there like that. Maybe some trees coming in like this. Um, we'll, have, we'll have some water reflections and things and some leaves maybe there, some reflections of the trees, some dark water. That's basically what I'm thinking of. <laughs> the way it looks. And I thought today, I'm not, sure I understand. I'm not talking to you, watch. <laughs> and I thought today I'd have a look at my brushes. I'm going to put my brushes there. I'm going to talk about my brushes as I use them. So um, I, that's what, something I am done for quite a while is talk about my brushes. So this is um, a short flat. This is a size 15 short flat. I'm just going to get some water, ordinary plain tap water like that. Now I'm going to make some light blue. So it's just ultramarine blue and white there we go ultramarine blue and white just get a nice light light blue like that what a lovely color bit of moisture bit of moisture in there and let's just get that bright spot just there like this i'm just going to dry brush that around just like this not worried about covering every bit of the canvas because I'm using um, what I call cardboard. I had a comment the other day say, well, cardboard in the USA is corrugated or um, something we, we get our cereals and stuff in. And this is quite, this is the same type of thing. It's not corrugated, but it's um, it's called a mount board. It's, it's the picture framing mount board is what I'm painting on. And normally you cut the center out of that to make a picture frame. But you can buy this on eBay readily. So I'm just going to put a bit of bit of cloud in, just like this. It's very very quick. Not even not even painting clouds, just putting little bobs of paint in the sky, just like that. There you go. Easy easy peasy 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 easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm going to get a a larger short flat. This is a one inch. Again, get some white and some ultramarine blue and I'm just going to bring in some blue down like this bit of moisture on the brush this is going to be our water I want a little bit of this this um, it's, it's a Van Dyke brown mixed with my gesso. The gesso is made by using titanium white, a little bit of chalk. That's all it is. It's in the pot like that. As my gesso is made up, a little bit of titanium white, um, a little bit of um, chalk or bicarbonate of soda or some marble dust or whatever you got to hand. Gypsum, anything like that. Not a lot of gypsum because it'll go hard. You don't want it to go hard. But what you want is the the sandiness let's just call it sandiness texture into that paint you can hear it's actually there and it's dried and it's lovely and it allows the acrylic paint to actually grab on and that's what we're looking for there let's get a little bit of darker color just coming in around the edges like this Maybe, maybe we'll have a bit of a, maybe have a bit of a bank or something coming in there. That would be good. That would be good, I think. Let's get a bit more blue and white and all that other stuff over there like this. Let's even, let's even get a little bit of hooker's green and some yellow. A little bit of white. A 
and mix that in as well. All these colors can merge around. Let's get a bit more of that blue. Bit of white. Just a myriad. It's my new word, myriad. It's a nice lot of color in that water. It's looking quite green. That's the plan. We can always bring in a bit more. I just washed my brush because I didn't want to contaminate my blue too much. Just bringing a bit of this blue in. A bit of white. I'm just going to drag down. My name very lightly. Just go across like that. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to check everything is recording. Okay, so I just dried that off very, very quickly with a hairdryer. Um, now I'm just going to put that brush aside. I'm going to pick another, there we are. This is another short flat. So this is not as long as that one. If you notice, see, so this is a short, short flat <laughs> number 10, number 10 it is. So a bit of, this is burnt umber, by the way, a bit of burnt umber. I'm going to get this bit of soil and stuff in. I'm going to add a bit of white to that. I'm just adding a little bit of, I'm trying to be loose. I don't want that too dark because I want to be able to show light. There we are. And I'm just dry brushing. Just a little bit of white, a little bit of burned umber. A bit more burned umber, but only a bit darker there. Maybe a bit darker than that. What's just coming in? There we go. Bit more. We're gonna add a little bit of black and stuff into this in a second, just for shadows and things. But at the moment, I'm just gonna try to develop maybe a river bank for there. Maybe, maybe we got another river bank coming in this side, just like this. So I'm just trying to build this up in my brain. Because that's what we have to do. We have to we have to imagine these things. As I raise it won't work. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Let's get a little bit of this. Very light there. Okay, so now I'm looking for a stipply brush, something that will give me some sort of stipple pattern. Um, I've got quite a few different ones. This is just, I'll tell you what I got. I've got a bristle brush here. Oh, will that one work? This is just an ordinary bristle. This, this is a normally um, used for oil painting. Um, you can use a bristle brush quite readily with acrylics, but make sure you wash it really, really well because uh, the bristles will be affected by the water. So we need to look after your bristle brushes, wash them really well, make sure they dry really well as well. 
So I want quite a lot of light colour. Quite a lot of light. Maybe a bit more yellow than that. That's a bit yellow. There we go. I'm going to put some bits of trees and things. And just tap in. Just tap in like this. Maybe just a little bit more shadowy colour coming in there like this as well. Just tap it, 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 tap Maybe a bit more on that whiter colour. Trying to not to destroy all of that blue that we've put in. Be a little bit of that darker green then. Just trying to represent maybe some trees and things. I don't know. You make it up. Could be anything, couldn't it? Could be any any particular type of trees and things like this. Maybe a little bit darker coming down. A little bit darker coming down there like this. So that's a bit lighter than that. That means this is giving it a little bit of depth. That's what we're looking for. And just tap it in, just an old bristle old brush. Just tap in the green in like this. Just tap in, tap it, tap it, tap it. Get a bit of yellow ochre maybe. Just to change things up a bit. A little bit of contrast there, just like that. Whew. Bring that down. Feed in the brush, get a little bit of this yellow paint. Bringing a bit of that green down like that. Put some grass. There we go. Maybe there's rocks and things there, see? Some bits, a little bit of grass, a little bit of darker colour. Just very, very lightly. A little bit of tufts of grass, just like this. Maybe. Maybe there's another little bush or something. Just like that. Bit of grass. Get some light colour. Bread and all that in, like that. Bit of yellow. Put a few highlights. There, like that. Maybe just a few little highlights. Just like that as well. There we go. So we've already got that side started to look nice. Now we want to do is get some white into this. And again, let's put some distant trees. Dragging a little bit of this green because I forgot to do that. Dragging a little bit of that green down onto the water area. Just add a little bit of reflection. There we go. Bit of green, bit of yellow. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Is that fun? 
Let the brush work. Let the imagination play with colour. That's a bit bright, so we'll just add a little bit of green. Maybe we'll make that a little bit bigger. That's a big old, thick old tree, that one. Adding a bit of green to that now, like that. I don't know what these look like. These trees are not anything in particular. In fact, let's put a let's get a little bit of darker green now. Coming in front of them like that. We're spreading that down there. Shh. Like that. Bit of that green is showing. There's a darker reflection there. Do 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 and just have fun. Do 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 do. Make these little songs up in your mind. Do 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 do. There we go. Got to find somewhere for all these little animals to to live. But currently, at the moment, it's Easter, so I'm thinking about rabbits and things like that. Maybe there's some rabbits in the water and in the water. Maybe there's some rabbits having a drink of water. I should say, not in the water. That would be funny if they were in the water. They're not. So there we go. Just add a little bit of green, just like this. Maybe get a little bit of that yellow walker this side. Maybe just a few little tufts of colour. Just like that. There we go. <laughs> I quite like that. So I'm going to get a strip lining brush. Um, I've got one here somewhere. Where's my script lining brush? A script lining brush. That's that's an incense stick. <laughs> oh, where's my favourite script lining brush? You know, I lose this brush so many times. I've found it. I found it. Is everything recording? Is everything recording? It looks as if it is okay. So what I'm going to do now is get a bit of burnt umber, a little bit of black, because I want to make these quite strong. There we go. Lots of water. Lots of water. Lots of water. When you're working on a, a substrate, or what I would say is um, a piece of cardboard or something like this, it's okay because you, it doesn't matter how thin you make your acrylics. Let's put some... trees in there we go just like that Just get that one coming up. No, like that. There we go. We could put them down in a second. Let's just put a couple of lines in, just like this. Represent maybe there's some reflections of the trees. Just in the water, just like that. There you go. <laughs> you put as many trees in as you want, or branches and twigs and things like this. There we go. Just a few, maybe a few branches and twigs, just 
that that there's a few lines just lines just down there like that there we go you don't have to put any leaves on these trees if you don't want to put any leaves on these trees there's one just I tell you what we could do with that I tell you what we could do with that one we could get some um, in fact, I'm going to just check my, my cameras one second, because I've been having a lot of trouble with sound. I'll tell you what I could do, actually. I'm thinking about maybe we could put some... Uh, these old branches are just falling down at like this. See? Because what I'm thinking of, maybe, if this works, let's put some... No, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. I need something a little bit more stipply. Let's try this. what I want to try and do is get some what looks like a weeping willow tree the other way you could do that is get a small brush again get some paint you could put these little leaves shadows in Just like that. I'm trying to do a very quick paint in here. You get the idea. That could be just a willow tree. There you go. That could be just a willow tree. I like willow trees. I got a willow tree in my garden. I'm nowhere near any water, unfortunately, so. Unless it rains. And it rains a lot in Wales, so. Just a few reflections. In the water like that. There you go. <laughs> right. Let's get a little bit of that. Green there. Let's get some shadow in the water. I tell you what, let's put some, um, what can we put there? Let's get some rocks. Let's get a little brush. Let's put rocks in all the way along there like this. A mass of rocks and things. A little bit of highlight. Let's get our Let me have a look at this. We need we need something. We need something there. We need something there. What I'm going to do is get a little bit of this water line. I want to put a water line in. A bit of blue. Like that. Put a bit of water line there as well. Do 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 do. It's all these little tiny little things sometimes that make 
things look like they're not supposed to look. This we don't have actually paint in water. We we paint in a representation of what water looks like in our mind. When you put reflections and things in like this, it does make a big difference. There we go. And you're painting over these leaves and things automatically makes it look as if this down into that water area there let's get another brush let's get some let's get some more soil and things maybe some rocks big rocks here maybe some rocks there and that you make it up I don't know what I'm doing actually I'm just making this up as I go along now I'm just trying to balance things out just a bit, a bit of highlight on maybe one or two of these little areas just like that Get some green. Maybe there's some grass and stuff growing just on the river bank like that. There we go. Got a bit of grass there. bits of grass everywhere some whoops whoops we dropped the brush oh getting way too old to bend down there <laughs> Put some shadows. Get this color. Okay. No, I think I'm going to get a few maybe bits of green one of these maybe leaves and things like that who knows who knows what they are It's a grass, a bit of big leaves fallen. Actually, there could be the leaves that have come off that, that tree up there, look. Just leaves like that. We can get a little bit of shadow underneath these leaves now. Let's get a little bit of burnt umber. Maybe a little bit of black. to give him a little bit of depth like this let's put a bit of green in the water
There's a lot of algae in this water, I think, today. Let's get a nice soft brush. Is that dry? I'm going to wait for that to dry a minute because I want to do something in a minute. I'm just going to wait for that to dry. I want to get some shadow in there. Right, I'm going to get a soft brush. A nice soft brush. And I want to put some shadow in this water. So I don't know if this will work the way I want it to work. But we got to try. So I'm going to get a little bit of black. A little bit of blue. I'm going to make this really, really little bit of burnt umber. I'm going to make this really, really wishy washy. There we go. I'm going to take some off my brush. I'm just going to try. There we go. Just want to bring this in. Change my roll. There we go. Just darkening up the water, a touch like that. Not everywhere, but just where I think it's going to be dark. Let's brighten it up a little bit there. That's brightening that area up by darkening this area. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a... I need to wash these brushes. I need a fan brush, don't I? There we go. I've got a fan brush. Dry fan brush. That's not working like I want it to work. Let's try again. In fact, that's not any good. So let's just go back to this brush. I just brush them in. I think we'll go back to our brush that we did the trees with. Again, get some white lots of water and now let's put some more free reflections in just like that Some of these leaves are under the water, some of them are floating on top of the water. We've got a little bit of light just hitting the water like that. Dee, 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 dee. 
there we go i think i'll do that i think that'll be enough for the day put a little bird in and another little bird in there and i think i'm going to call that done so we've got some floating leaves on the river you hire your your um trees there you reap weeping willows whatever we could in fact let's put some more leaves on this tree that's like this there we go hey, welcome thanks for stopping by it's bam. Time to learn yeah i'll leave it at that <laughs> whatever i don't mind if you play with it too much you'll spoil it and that's the key of that one so have fun enjoy bye, -bye.